Hi, this is Style and Grace coming at you. This is part one of possibly a three-part series on how to cut rhinestones or make rhinestone templates in a cray cut world. But let me tell you the supplies that you may need. Get my background. I was um cleaning up, so I'll move it. But um, this is what you're gonna need. Some rhinestones. And I believe I did get mine from Rhinestone World. I'm not too correct, but you can look up rhinestoneworld.com and get you some rhinestones. These are size 10. I got me some tape. This is what I'm, I'm going to use. Masking tape. This is a small rhinestone brush. This is a paint edger. Also used as a rhinestone brush. Way cheaper than the rhinestone brush that you would buy from these rhinestone worlds you need some um this is like a sticky paper the same type of paper that you would use for the um 651 vinyl but it's not the same but it's the same concept so this is a special one for the rhinestones and some flocky paper now there is um a such thing called magic flocky paper I believe in rhinestone world I didn't use that which I should have but I didn't but for this tutorial I just showed you what I have now you definitely are going to need uh let me get rid of this shortcuts a lot and if you can see I'll bring it up closer. This is what the icon is going to look like. You're going to need to download shortcuts a lot. Um, let me see if I can zoom in and show it to you. It looks like a clock. So that, that's going to be shortcuts a lot. So I'm going to upload my shortcuts a lot now for this tutorial I'm gonna do lips so let me zoom out and one thing you should know for sure this is how shortcuts a lot comes up um, the designs that you want for um, the shortcuts a lot designs you want them to be outlined like an outline design so I had to go on Google and find me some lips that was outlined. Now shortcuts a lot when you um, download it, they do have a library of designs that you can use. But for now, I'm going to show you how to go out to Google, get your lips, save it to your pictures, and then come back and um, upload it. So let's minus this out. Let's bring up, I'm Explorer, so I'm going to bring up Explorer, and I'm just going to bring up an empty, because I got a lot of icons that are um, showing. So, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search the web. I want um, images. Of lips, black and white. And this is what comes up. So you want to hit images of lips, black and white. Now they give you so many lips in black and white, but what you want is the outline of lips. So you can also put in images of outline lips, black and white. And this is what you get. So you could pick whatever lips you want. Not too thick. You want the skinny 
outlined ones and I already have one um, saved. So I'm going to minus this down and bring up my shortcuts a lot. So you want it to come in so you can maneuver it and um, be able to work with it as far as the rhinestones is concerned. So up here you have file, edit, object, path, layer, page, effects, text, view, cutter, windows, help. That's your first line. Your second line is new, open, save, cut, copy, paste, undo, redo, import, trace, library, store, preview, cutter. We want to trace. So it brings up this trace image page. What I want to do is I want to choose an image. So I'm going to hit, sorry about that. I'm going to hit choose an image and it brings up my library of um, pictures. And I want to find the lips that I saved. I did B lips, so it'll be easier to find. So you scroll down and you look for your lips. Here go my lips right here. So I'm going to hit that. It brings it up red, but don't worry about that. When it goes in, it'll um, come in as black. And there it goes. Now, it came in kind of small. So one thing I do want to let you know, you can move this, you know, click on it, hold it, pull it. One thing I do want to let you know is you can change the size of your lips, but you're going to have to keep it that size. So I want my lips to be, let's say, five, five. Um, I want the width to be five. So over here on your right side, it's, um, let me zoom in, it tells you width. And before when I was telling you all that stuff that we were reading, it's right here at the top. So let me show you foul, edit, all that. And right here next to import would be trace, and trace looks like that. Okay, so let me try to get a closer screen which right there okay so you see how my lips came in little so over here on this other on your right side I want to change the width so I want to back out of what's there and put in 5.0 you see how my lips came bigger but for now I'm gonna go um Yeah, my lips came out to be 5.0. That's going to be the size I want to work with. That's the size you're going to have to keep it. So while it's highlighted, you want to go effects, rhinestones, and this comes up. Let me zoom in. It gives you rhinestones, gives you sizes of rhinestones. What you want to do is pick the size rhinestone that you want, and I want round. And then you want to go up and pick the size rhinestones you're working with, which I'm working with 10. 10 is, 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 is the normal size that you will work with. Now, it's going to bring you up two sizes of 10. It's going to be S. 10 PP21 2.70 to 280 0.106 to minus 0.11. That's the one you want to pick. Hit it. Again, make sure the circles is and hit OK. And it turns your lips into rhinestones. 
Now, for some reason, whatever design that you pull over, the rhinestone template that's made is not going to be exact. You're going to have to clean it up a little bit. So down here on your left side, where it says the percentage of the page, you can go higher. To, it won't mess with the size of the rhinestone. It's just going to mess with the size of the page so you can have it closer where you can actually see what you're working with. And maneuver that. And you want to clean this up. And how you want to do that is you want to select a rhinestone. Or make sure your rhinestone page is still selected. See, it bring it just zooms it in. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that way you can see what I'm working with. Go up here to... Path, object, go up here to object and hit break apart. This allows you to work with each individual rhinestone. All this extra right here and right here and right here and right over here, I don't want. The sad thing about this is when you're importing from someplace else, you're going to have to clean it up by deleting it. So you hit on it. And you can hit delete. I did mine already. So go and delete all that. It'll take a, a couple of minutes. And this is on any design. Delete what you don't want. Delete, 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 delete. Eventually, it will clean up. I don't want to sit here and delete them all because I already um, did mine. Eventually, it'll clean it up enough where you can save it. So you can go file. You want to export it out. You don't want to go save as, you want to export it out and hit export. Now, the reason, like I said, the only reason why it's going a little quicker is because um, I didn't sit here and um, delete everything. One thing I do want to let you know is like you see this one right here where it's out of place. You can click on and move it yourself or over here on your right side, you have buttons that say nudge and let me bring that in so you can see it that will move it for you just keep hitting the arrows left right up down but for this instance we want to hit the arrows and let me show you what I was talking about up so go up until it gets into place and you don't want them to touch so as you can see they're touching a little bit go up and over over, over, and then just click out. And it fixed it for you. Now you see that it's not that quite, so you can hit it again and go down a little bit, down, and click out. Get it to the way you want to get it. Now this one here looks a little distorted, so go down, down, and click out. Way better. So that was what you want and like I said you would just have to go and delete these out and you do have to go one at a time delete 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 you don't want them touching each other at all because when you make it it's gonna look messed up it's gonna look all smudged together and that's exactly how your template is gonna come out so now that you fixed it up let's just pretend that you fixed it up you want to select it so you want to go
Okay, I was just looking to look. But you want to go foul. Export. You want to name it. Um, Ellipse. Make sure that this is what you're going to get. Let me zoom out and then I'm going to zoom back in and show you something. This is what you're going to get when you do that. But make sure this is checked off. Anything that has to say, it says scalable vector file SVG. Make sure that's definitely there. And hit save. And this little box is going to come up. And this, let me zoom out a little bit. It's going to say export options. Always, always, always make sure that this box here is checked that says design space compatible. And then hit OK. Now that put it back in your picture. So let's go find what we did by bringing up. Quick cut design. So here go my crit cut, and I want to do a new project, so I'm going to hit my plus screen. Upload, do the same thing. See, mine's is already there, and I did LPN rocks because I was going to make a shirt for my daughter. But hit upload image. Hit browse. And go look for your picture, but it's going to be an E form, SVG form. And here it goes. And it's in SVG form. Again, remember it's not cleaned up. And you just hit save. So now I want to show you the one that is cleaned up compared to the one that isn't cleaned up because it's going to have to load again. So there it goes. That is your rhinestone template SVG. Say insert. And now you want to bring it over. And this part I'm going to leave for part two. This is Grace, Style and Grace, coming at you. Stay tuned. Part two, coming soon. Right back at you.